Hi and welcome to my two minute tips for the best life. I'm Coach Marta. Today we're gonna talk about hyperachievers. Those of us who sabotage ourselves by measuring our worth with external achievements. There's a high chance that you have a hyperachiever if you find yourself often in the following situations. To you, life's about achieving and producing results. Unless you're the best at what you do, no need to even try. It's important to you to only display perfection in public. You try to impress others by your achievements. You believe that emotions are worthless and only get in the way of your performance. Your workaholic tendencies cost you relationships. For the hyperachiever, self-validation, self-acceptance, and self-love are all conditioned on continual performance. It's a lie. In actuality, by believing this, you're giving your power away to others who evaluate you. By constantly feeling that you only gain love by achievement, you actually expose yourself to a lot of energy-sucking stress and anxiety. That actually results in lower achievement. It also gives your right to be happy away to some time in the future, instead of feeling happy now and acting out of this place of wholeness. For those of you that see that they have a hyperachiever, I have a few tips. One thing you can do is dig out a childhood picture of yourself. Stare at it, stare in your eyes, and notice how lovable you are without ever having done anything yet. Ask yourself numerous times throughout your day, How am I feeling? What am I feeling? It will help you get in touch with feeling your emotions. Another thing you can do is recall your thoughts in college or first job or first home, etc. Do you remember thinking, I'll be happy when? Reflect on how long your happiness actually lasted back then. Not very long, I assume. Think of a project you want to hyperachieve on and reframe it for yourself and treat it like a game and see if you can be more relaxed about it. Think of your kids, your spouse, or colleagues. Is your hyperachiever rubbing off on them? What are the price they're paying? Engage in a hobby or a project where you absolutely don't evaluate yourself at all and only stay process-oriented, no outcome-oriented at all. It's important to remember that those with hyperachiever tendencies have very important strengths as well. They're self-directed, goal-oriented, and capable of achieving their full potential and maybe even inspiring others to do the same. These are wonderful qualities and can be cultivated without the downside of evaluating self-worth based on performance. I would love to help you with your hyperachiever saboteur. And if you'd like to work on it, uh, check out my eight-week group coaching program, Mental Fitness, Positive Intelligence. In this program, we look at our saboteurs and we come up with strategies to respond to life's challenges in a positive way. To start, um, take a test and see which saboteurs you have. Uh, I'll see you in the next video.